Can I get another one? Who want to have a child, please? Come. You want to have a child? How long are you married there? You don't have a child at all? No. And how long are you married? It's a long time. Yes. My brother. Promise that you will never get another wife. Tell me, my brother. Tell me you will never get another wife. I will never give, get another wife. Except you. Except you. Because these people are talking too much. You, you understand? Yes. So don't listen to them. These people are talking. They, they want to get another wife. And then uh, if now you get another wife, what God wants to do is a miracle. Amen. You will miss a miracle. Amen. You understand? Yes. Can you see when you get another wife, these people will never fear God again. Because in your family, people, they don't worship God. Yes. Huh? Yes. And then now, if you get another wife, they end up controlling you. And they want to give you. They just want to give you a, a stupid lady. <laughs> so, let me pray for you. God will give you a, a child. Leave her, leave her down, please. Leave her down that way. How can people block your wife? Tomorrow they say your wife doesn't have a child. Go and get another wife. It means they want to give you their kind. And this lady, she's a prayerful person. Is it not true, brother? She's a prayerful person, this woman. Yes, she is. Huh? Yes, she is. So, now, how can people block your wife? I'm just giving you an example of what I'm saying. People block your wife. After they block your wife, the same people, I'm, I'm just speaking that way, the same people say, ah, I'm still with this person. Find another wife. So you people here, you must be careful. Jesus came so that two will be against three. Amen. In the family. Amen. So I'm saying this, brother. Don't listen to anyone from today. Just, yes. say, just say this one is Sarah. Amen. Sarah, this one is Sarah. Isaac is coming. So they'll be surprised your the boy will come. Amen. I receive. You receive. You can ask your wife, she was giving up. Where is she? You were giving up. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, she was giving up because of what she's seeing around, isn't it? Huh? Yes. Uh, and then this lady can give birth. I'm telling you, this lady can give birth. Is that, it's not natural if we can do what we can do. If I say this lady, I can give it to this man. Within one month, she's pregnant. But what they are doing because they know you, they know how to block you so that this lady will never be pregnant. I'm telling you this lady because she think now she can't conceive. She started to blame herself. This woman. You hear my brother? Yes. So I promise you in front of everyone here, you carry your baby. Amen. 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 Can you tell us a word of prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Yes, uh, the word of prophecy, I'm confirming it. As they've said that uh, my family, they are against our marriage as this situation of barrenness because there is a there is a mother of my son that they they, they want me to uh, to to marry her the way in which they are doing things because she's always visiting my brothers and sisters and my family and they are welcoming her so I think this is true because she's always around 
in the family. And what kind of challenges would you and your wife face together? No, the, the greatest challenge that we are facing is this challenge of barrenness that is worrying us a lot. So, and also the career failure, but the greatest one is this situation of barrenness that we believe, as we have received the prophets today, uh, we are delivered, we are free, we have been set free in the name of Jesus. And were you having thoughts of wanting to leave your wife? No, uh, it did not come to my mind to leave her because of this situation. That's why I also told her that whether we are having children or we don't have children, I will be with her as I've made a vow in my heart and when we get married, that for better, for worse. So with children or without children, I will be with her. And how are you feeling that the man of God has located you today? Yeah, through the prophecy that today we have received, I am very happy and I know that God has remembered us and uh, we are going to have our testimony. We are coming back here with our children in Jesus.